A Massachusetts three year old is dead after coming to New Mexico. Her mother and three other people are now charged with child abuse, resulting in death. Reporter Andres Valle joins us live from the courthouse where all four made their first appearance. Andres. Hey, Brianna, first things first, I want to give a warning to our viewers that some of the details in this case uh, you might find disturbing. Now, we first brought you this story over the weekend, and as of today, that judge is making sure all four people involved are going to remain in jail until their trial. In Ms. Santos, the state has filed a motion for pretrial detention in your case. And so that means your case is going to be transferred to district court. Mr. Bing, the state has filed a motion for pretrial detention in your case. That means your case will be transferred to district court. Mr. Welch, the state has filed a motion for pretrial detention in your case. That means you're going to be held until district court has a hearing. Um, we're going to be transferring the case to district court. One after another, the judge ordering all to stay in jail until a trial while they get transferred to district court. You're looking at Carrie Santos, Christina Pena Cantor, Austin Bing, and James Welch. All four are facing federal charges of child abuse resulting in death. According to court documents obtained by our newsroom, police arrived at UNM Hospital early on Saturday morning after the mother of the three-year-old, Carrie Santos, brought her in for not feeling well. Upon first examination, hospital staff noted that the child was dead upon arrival. A nurse even telling police that the child had multiple bruises on her body and some near her private areas. According to APD, they immediately arrested the mother and took her in for questioning. That is when it was revealed that Santos was living in this apartment in southeast Albuquerque for the past week with her three children. The apartment belonging to James Welch, the boyfriend of Christina Pena Contour. Santos, a friend of Pena Contour, told police she was forced to drive Pena Contour and her adult son, Austin Bing, to Albuquerque from Massachusetts, along with Santos and her three children. And Albuquerque detectives are working closely with CYFD social workers on this case, as well as the district attorney as well. Reporting downtown Albuquerque, I'm Andres Faya for KOET Action 7 News. Andres, thank you. APD says drugs were being used around the children and that two of the adults taken into custody have histories of violence in other states.